What is up YouTube, it's CS back here with another installment and here is my preview for episode 29 of Deadliest Warrior. This one's between Ivan to Terrible and Hernan Cortez. Alright, well, most of y'all know I'm real excited for this episode. The one I'm hyping up the most, like those of you who talk to me outside of YouTube know this. Really want to see this episode. Two real interesting cats here and they got some sick weapons so... Why wouldn't you want to see this one? On one side, you got Ivan the Terrible. The guy really was terrible. And I don't see how, you know, some Russian patriots use that term as a term of endearment. Well, I do see it, but it just... The guy did so much more terrible things, and I think the word terrible suits, you know, the bad things more, you know? Terrible meaning strong or courage or whatever, right? It's, no, no, terrible is terrible. He's bad... He's crazy. That's what he was. From my opinion. The guy would think he's Saint Mike. What? And he'd treat his back pain with mercury? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the guy would kill his own people. Sounds like another Russian I know that hasn't been featured on the show yet. You guys can take a guess on who that is. So, yeah. I don't know what to say. The guy was crazy, but he packed some serious weaponry. Uh, he had he was pretty geared out, so who knows how well he does against the teched out Cortez, of course. And now Cortez, let's take a look at him. This guy also was kind of crazy. He had a crazy lust for gold, and if you stood in his way, he'd try to crush you. You know, he'd torture you. He'd shoot your ass. I don't know. The guy was nuts. Of course, he was armed with Toledo steel. You know, he had the best, the best. And he took over the Aztec Empire, you know, with just 500 goons. That's crazy. Most teched out people on this side of the earth, you know, he just crushed with 500 dudes with his, you know, with his combined use of technology, uh, disease, and cruelty. It just overwhelmed the Aztecs and, you know, basically wiped him out. So Cortez, he's not to be fucked with, but he does have a tall task, uh, tall task here in Ivan and Yvonne. Wow, really don't know how this is going to play out. But if you guys did check out the first test on Spike.com, I don't know about y'all, but besides that reload time, the arc bus did impress me. So let's take a look at long range, shall we? Of course, on one side, I already mentioned arc bus for Hernan, Hernan Cortez. And on the other side, we have Yvonne the Terrible and his pistol, the pistol. Now, take a look at that pistol compared to... Cortez's um, arquebus. I really don't know what to think. I'm not a matchlock expert weapon. Um, expert. I'm not a matchlock weapons expert. And I don't know. Maybe a matchlock weapons expert wouldn't be, you know, impressed with what they saw from the arquebus here. But I definitely was. Um, wow. I know the reload time sucked. But to shoot. Two targets with one bullet, bam, you know, of course the Arquebus has that stand to um, add some accuracy, and I guess it helped, <laughs> because there was two moving targets, one from 20 feet out, one from 40, move out, uh, 40 feet out, and of course a still target at 60 feet out. The 20 and 40 feet out targets were moving like this, so the shooter waited till they crossed, and then he shot at them. So it hits this one and this one. Wow. Um, and they're both kill shots. That was, you know, pretty impressive for me. And of course, on top of that, the guy 60 feet out gets a throat shot. You know, through the trachea, throughout the neck. Damn. Nice looking test from the Arquebus. I really don't see how the Pischel tops that. Not to mention the fact that it could jam. And, you know, it's reload time might suck even more. And if it's not as accurate, because I don't think it's going to be able to top the Arquebus in terms of accuracy, because that was absolutely unreal. Um, I don't see the Pistol packing a bigger round um, or hitting harder. So I'm not sure if it's going to be able to go through two targets cleanly. But, you know, I think it's going to put up an impressive test as well for a match lock weapon. We'll see. But from what I saw from the Arquebus, I was pretty much blown away. 
the only thing I can see it, you know, losing out the edge on is reload time. But from what I saw, I liked Arcbus. I like it for its accuracy. Yeah, I gotta go with Edge Arcbus. All right, y'all, but let's move on. Taking a look at mid-range weapons, you got the Bardish of Ivan the Terrible and Hernan Cortez with his halberd, the Alabarda, Spanish for halberd. Now, what can I say? Maybe I might seem biased towards the Bardish. I've held one. I've never used it, though. But holding that thing, I'm like, wow, the amount of damage I could do with this thing. Looking at the weapon, self-explanatory, how you use it, and it's just going to be devastating in the tests and it's just gonna look bloody it's gonna look awesome and I just think it's gonna put up a more damaging test than the Alabarda and because of that I'm gonna give it edge because that's what they usually do when they see more blood and guts so since I think the Bardish is gonna do that I gotta go go with that in this test it was Yvonne the Terrible and the Streltsy's you know signature weapon I just have a lot of faith in this weapon, you know. Of course, the Halberd has performed time and time again on Deadliest Warrior, but as far as it as a cutting tool, it's not as good as the Bardish. There's a lot more blade on the Bardish, so it's harder to miss with it. I'm um, sure the Alberta has, you know, the spear thing. You know, it is a pole axe for friggin' sakes, so you do have that functionality. Um, yeah, like it's good you know it's hard for me to give the the edge to the bardish but i do like that extra blade on it and that's why i'm giving it the edge so edge bardish all right next up we got short range weaponry between yvonne saber and then hernan cortez and his espada opera pretty sure the espada opera is accompanied with a parrying dagger and because of that you've got to give it to hernan cortez um, besides that, though, you might even want to give him the edge just for the Espada Ropera. Um, you might compare this edge to George Washington and Napoleon's, uh, you know, uh, Saber versus uh, Kalishmar test. And the Saber, sure, can stab, sure, can slice, but the Kalishmar is the more defensively capable weapon and it is the better stabber. So, um, but, you know, I might have given the edge just to the spot or repair just for um its capabilities like the collish bar but since you uh, accompany it with a parrying dagger two blades are better than one uh, more defense and of course more offense as well so i'm gonna have to give it to the spot repair and parrying dagger combination two blades are better than one and i like the defense so yeah edge that all right now moving on we have two edges to one in favor of cortez but we still have X-Factors to look at. And I really don't think Cortez is going to let up here. Um, first one I know they're going to look at, and if they don't, I don't know why, is mental health. Um, Cortez has this in the bag. I know he was crazy going for that golden shit. But Yvonne was just, you know, straight up, you know, bad. <laughs> you know, he's been crazy since a kid, you know. So, what can I say? The guy thought he was St. Mike's. The guy, what? Treating his back with mercury, that's absolutely ridiculous. I know that's just a rumor, but hey, anything's possible when you're as crazy as that dude. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was actually true. Um, yeah, the guy was killing his own, he was killing his own people too. Um, yeah, he's not getting the mental health edge. Edge to Hernan Cortez, I think it's going to look like a 60-30 in that sense. And um, number-wise, I think it's going to look 60-30-ish. And then let's take a look at what else we can. Leadership, in my opinion, should be looked at. You know, Cortez, his charisma was just off the charts. He was able to unite um, different peoples against Aztecs, you know, people that Aztecs were whooping on. And uh, to do that and to have 500 men go up against, you know, the best army in the world at the time on that side of the world at the time, you know, it says a lot about this guy, you know, sure he was crazy, but, you know, he was, you know, he was charismatic enough to have people, you know, go for gold with him, so I gotta give the edge to, um, Hernan Cortez for leadership or charisma or whatever, uh, for the most part, um, Yvonne the Terrible did love his country, and, um, you know, I'm not, sh I'm not gonna say he's a bad leader by any sense, but I just think Cortez has this one. 
Uh, if you're going to look at things like logistics, I don't think Yvonne got out of his logistical range. Hernan Cortez did give that to Yvonne if that's looked at. Physicality, you're going to have to give that to Yvonne as well. Yvonne is just, you know, that much more bigger and more menacing. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather fight Cortez in a fist fight. That dude was 5'4", like 130. So, yeah, those are X-Factors. I might think, might be on the show. Tell me what you think you're going to see. So, yeah, before I do get to my verdict on who I'm picking here, got to also look at armor. Got to explain that shit, of course. I'm pretty sure the armor is being tested up against, you know, the blades and the guns. And for the most part, I have a lot more faith in what Cortez is packing with that Toledo steel. I like his helmet better, um, and I like his breastplate better uh, over chainmail and shit. So, yeah, got to give the edge for our armor metallurgy to Hernan Cortez. And because of that, and because he has better mental health, and because I think he has a better gat, I'm going to give this one to Cortez. I think he wins um, like 57-43, something like that, up to 60. I think it's going to be pretty decisive. Um, Yvonne's mental health sucked ass. It was ass. And I just don't, I think he's too deficient in terms of technology. So, got to give it to Cortez. I really do. So, what can I say? Tell me what you guys think of this matchup. In the comment section below, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please rate. Tell me if you think Cortez is going to win. Give me a thumbs up. I mean, if you think Yvonne's going to win, give me a thumbs up. If you think Cortez is going to win, give me a thumbs down. And yeah, I guess that about does it for me. My links are in the bottom. I guess I'll see you for a review uh, next week. So again, thank you for all the support and take care.